Sunday and we're heading back home right now we're in traffic we're only about 10 miles from home but according to the GPS it says it's gonna take 34 minutes and we left a week ago today and we went first to Needles California at Pirates Cove and was right on the Colorado River all right we just made it to the first leg of our journey we got the Colorado River right here it was really pretty Duke and the kids went swimming but I didn't because it's too cold for me two one go <laughs> oh. Not bad. <laughs> and then we spent the night there. We heard coyotes howling. And we got up in the morning and packed up, went to the Grand Canyon. Wow, there's the Grand Canyon. Look to the right, guys. Look over there. We parked at the Grand Canyon, found our camps, campsite. There were these mule, what were they called? Mule deers? Like a camel? It kind of looks know. like a camel or something, isn't it? We don't know if it's a deer or a moose because I guess we're just that type of family that doesn't know those things. What is it, Indy? Deer mules? I don't know. These big animals just grazing the campground. Then we decided to go check out the Grand Canyon because, you know, that's why we're there. Okay, we're coming up on the first time the kids have ever seen the Grand Canyon. I was eight years old last time. Last time I saw the Grand Canyon, I was 10 years old. That was 33 short years ago. Wow. What do you think, Stone? I have a bigger canyon. Dad, I have a bigger canyon. That's pretty amazing. started getting really really cold then it started to rain a little bit we got to see the Grand Canyon it was amazing gorgeous incredible then it started to rain a little bit then the rain turned to sleet it's full on hailing right now the Grand Canyon and then the sleet turned into snow and we got back onto the shuttle and the snow was coming down pretty heavy. I checked the weather. It said there was only about a 30% chance of rain that day, but there was actually a blizzard happening. By the time we got back to our campsite, it, everything was covered over in snow. We decided we would not camp that night. So we drove to Flagstaff and it took quite a while to get there with all the snow. And we made it to, I don't know, a hotel, Holiday Inn Express or something. And it was late, we were exhausted. So we went to sleep, got up the next morning, had breakfast, hit the road again and went to Sedona. It's very, peaceful in Sedona. I'm at peace right now, just hanging out by a tranquil stream, listening to the birds chirp. And I love Sedona, it's my favorite. When we went to Sedona, there were red rocks. As soon as you see the red rocks, you're like, oh my gosh, it's incredible. 
beautiful, amazing. Dad, the plan to get it is you're gonna grab that and then reel it in and then one of us are gonna grab it and swing and jump and then, uh, yeah, get eaten by an alligator. So, yeah, this this thing, here, I'll, I'll No. Okay, so grab that and then reel it in and then. Oh yeah, okay. Oh, did he grab it? <laughs> yes! I got it, I got it. Oh. All right, three, two, one. I'm scared! Let go! Is he cold? It is really cold. It's so cold. This is gonna go on YouTube, right? Yeah. Better. Three, two, and he go out as far as you can. Okay. Let go! How was it? It did not feel as cold this time. And then we found our campsite. There was nobody else in our campsite. It was really, really cool. Indian Stone both sides was their best camping experience ever. Uh, this is really nice. I wanted to go find um, Cathedral Rock. I wanted to hike to Cathedral Rock and I had never hiked all the way to Cathedral Rock but on the way I know there are some different energy vortex sites so I wanted to try to find them but I should have done some research first because I couldn't remember how to get there but we did have a really nice hike on Baldwin Trail and to Cathedral, well toward Cathedral Rock and while we were hiking the kids found this little cave kind of thing and on this rock and they were climbing so I took out my phone to take a picture of them. When I took my phone out, apparently, my driver's license fell out. I didn't realize. So we were, we walked up as far as we were gonna walk. We turned around, we were walking back down and Duke had on his Fight Master Yoga t-shirt and we passed this couple and this other woman and they were like, Fight Master, Fight Master, wait, wait, and so, they found my driver's license. Okay. Uh, Can you believe yeah. that? Uh, thank we you were, so much. We were going to search to Google to oh, see where, who you are, where you are, and here you are. Apparently, Leslie dropped her driver's license on the path. Then we were walking past some, I'm just guessing that they're from Sweden or some area like that that's not America, and they're like, fight master? They saw my shirt. And they gave her a license back. Isn't that awesome? Yay! When I took my phone out, it fell out. You tell me how you thought that maybe uh, they recognized you. Yeah, I thought YouTube. maybe that you know, Fight Master Yoga. Oh my gosh, so and so does your videos. But no, they found my driver's license because I dropped it on the trail, and they were so sweet. They're like, oh, we were gonna Google you and look you up and see how we could get it back to you. So um, they were super sweet. So we got my driver's license back. Then the next morning we got up, got all packed up and went to Slide Rock. And the kids loved Slide Rock. It was pretty awesome. There was this place where you could jump right into the, is it a creek or a river? I don't even know. I don't know. It was deep enough to jump into. Whoa! Whoa! One, two, three, two seconds, two seconds. That's the one. And then there's another, place where it's the water is um, rushes like fast enough that you can just sit down and slide like you're on a water slide and they loved it up and down the creek and they jumped from rock to rock and it was super awesome. And I love Sedona. Did I mention that I love Sedona? I felt so good there and I had so much energy. After that we went to Chandler, Arizona and that was where we were meeting up with the jiu-jitsu team because the kids had a tournament on Saturday. The Grand Canyon State Open NABJJF Jiu Jitsu Tournament.
Stone took second place, Indy took third place. They both did really good. Then we stayed and we watched their professor fight and he was did amazing and he got first place in his fight. And then this morning we woke up, we packed up and hit the road and we've been driving since about 8.30 this morning. It's now 3.30 in the afternoon and here we are in traffic. Almost home, let's see how many miles now. We have, we are 8.8 .8 miles from home. It says it's going to take us 25 minutes. So then we'll go home, we'll unpack, we'll clean up the van, and then we get to drive to LA and take the van back, and then you, come back home. To LA, not us. Oh, Stone says Dad is driving to LA, so apparently Duke's gonna do it Mommy all by himself. Mommy and then and Indy and Mommy and Stone are just gonna relax at home. No, Yay. Dad and Mom are going, and then I'll babysit Indy. Oh. Stone's gonna babysit his older brother, Indy, <laughs> while well, mom and dad take the, the van back. We loved the van, by the way. The van is awesome. Shout we were, out to Juicy. Shout out to Juicy, yeah, it was awesome. So that was our trip. A whole week on the road for the Fightmaster family. Oh, we made a video, we made a new yoga video in Sedona, and um, it was awesome. If you're interested in renting a Juicy van, go to Juicy, J-U-C-Y, USA.com or if you're not in USA, let's go to Juicy Van Rental, just Google it. And I know you can also rent them in Australia and maybe New Zealand, but check it out. It's super awesome to rent a Juicy Van for sure. Keep an eye out for our new video filmed in Sedona. I still have to do the voiceover for it, so it'll be a couple weeks. And don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and come and visit us at FightMasterYoga.com and have a great day. Bye. They made me return it by myself. Wow, look at this. There's like juicy vans as far as the eye can see. Oh no. I locked my sweatshirt in the van. <laughs>